Worship with song is one of the ways we show God that we believe He is Almighty God. To show reverence, or literally, to move towards with a kiss, that's worship. To worship Jesus is not confined to praise. Broadly, it speaks first of acknowledging that He is God, and belief in Him for who He is and what He has done, as well as His nature and attributes. Action is also implied in worship, that it changes our direction in life. It humbles us. It prevents us from worshiping other things because we cannot rightly worship Jesus and something else. But not everyone worships Jesus. Some people carve wooden statues or cast metal images and say, here is my God, I'll worship him. Some people worship stuff they buy. Maybe they worship people, family. Today, more and more people, sadly, are even worshiping themselves, making themselves to be God, and only bowing to their own wants and desires. We are the only species on earth that worship. We can't seem to help it. But why worship Jesus? This is Christmas and we celebrate Jesus coming to earth as a baby. We don't make a habit of going around humbly bowing in worship to every baby that comes along. We love babies and we cherish them, but we don't worship them. Yet when Jesus was born, that is exactly what happened. Sheep herders out in the field and men with great wisdom who traveled from the ancient east came to worship him. Angels told of this boy and his mission, and then they sang loudly about him, praising God. Angels sang, and grown-ups searching for the baby came not only to cherish him, but expressly to worship him. Some might come and pay tribute to a baby if they were born as a new king, but even then they wouldn't worship him, not in Israel, not even today. Sure, there have been times when a tribe might worship a king who was born, and that birth may even impact a tribe for some time, but that's not what happened with Jesus. This wasn't about him being born a king of a tribe or a nation, but this king was born as king of kings and lord of lords. He was born as God, God born. What a conundrum. The one and only almighty creator God came not showing his might, but humbly as a savior, as a sacrificial lamb. So why worship Jesus? Because he is the only man in the whole of all mankind who ever lived that is worthy of worship. Think about that. The only man in all of time, in all humanity, that is worthy of worship is Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Will you humble yourself today and bend your knee to worship Jesus? One day, every creature in heaven and earth will bow in worship. The Bible tells us about this in Revelation 5. It says that a special scroll that no one was worthy to open until Jesus, as the risen Lamb of God, was deemed worthy to take the scroll and open it. Revelation 5, 6 begins like this. Then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, he stepped forward and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each one had a harp and they held gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song with these words, you are worthy to take the scroll and break its seals and open it for you are slaughtered and your blood has ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have caused them to become a kingdom of priests for our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and I heard the voices of thousands and millions of angels around the throne and of the living beings and the elders. And they sang in a mighty chorus, worthy is the lamb who was slaughtered to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, they sang blessing and honor and glory and power 
belong to the one sitting on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. And the four living beings said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshiped the Lamb. If Jesus were just another baby born 2,000 years ago, no one would worship him. No one would have worshiped him then, and certainly no one would be worshiping him today. Yet here we are, Christians all around the world from every tribe and nation who proclaim Jesus as Savior still worship him today. No other person has changed the world in such dramatic fashion as Jesus Christ. Through his life, death, and resurrection, death has been defeated and eternal life has been offered. Darkness has been overcome by one true light. This is why we celebrate Jesus has come into our world. Your world, my world, so that our lives can be changed, our sins can be forgiven. Jesus' coming brings hope to the hopeless, peace to the anxious, joy to the miserable, and love to the forgotten. We celebrate his birth on Christmas Day. So today, let's worship him as our God, God our Savior, Jesus, the reason for Christmas Day. the dark. 